We continue now at the top of Daf Kufnun Aleph Amid Beis and Maseches Baba Basra. This is Baba Basra Daf 151B. This Daf is sponsored by David Grossman. Thank you for your sponsorship. If you'd like to sponsor an Amid or a Daf, see the description box below and see the description box below to see how you can support this channel. And the previous Amid the Gemara said that the sister of Rev Dimi, anytime she was sick and it looked like she might die, she would transfer this piece of property, this vineyard, to to her brother Rev Dimi. And the Gemara now continues the story and says, And then when she would get better, let's say she recovered from her illness, so then she would retract the gift. And the Rashbam explains, Ki havas kaima hajraba kiditna, just like the Mishnah said. Lo shayer karka kol shu ein matana. So matana, let's say a person gives away all of the property, again talking about a shchimer on his deathbed, so then we say that if he recovers in that situation, his gift is not considered to be a gift. And the Gemara continues the story. Zimna chada, one time, chalsha, she was sick again. Shal chalei, so she sent to him, talkani, that you should come and acquire the property. And so Shalach, he sent back a message, Lo ba'ina, I don't want to come, because every single time I come, I acquire the property, and then it ends up being retracted. Shal chalei, so she sent to him, Takani, kol heicha debois, come, you can make the acquisition in any fashion that you want to make it. In other words, make it in a fashion that it will be permanent. So Azal, so he came, Shaira, and what she did was she gave, a, she gave her property, but she left a little property for herself, in which case, even if she recovers, she's not able to retract. Vikanumina, and they also made an actual physical Kenyan, and they formalized it with a Kenyan. And then, Kikai Mohadraba, then when she got better, when she recovered, she tried to retract again, just like before. Asoy Lakami de Nachman, she came before Rav Nachman for a ruling. Shalach Lei, so he sent a message to Rev Dimi. He said, come and come before the court. Lo asa, so he didn't come. Amar, and he said, my icy, why should I come? Hashaira v'kanumina, she left some property, and we also made a specific Kenyan. And so therefore, there's no reason why this Kenyan should be retracted. I should get the property. Shalach Lei sent to him, Elo Asis, that if you don't come, Machina Lach Besilva de Lomaba de Ma, that I'm going to strike you with a thorn that doesn't draw blood. Meaning to say, if you don't come, I'm going to excommunicate you. Amar Luhul, he said, Amar Luhul Asadi, so he came, and then he said to the witnesses, meaning the judge of Nachman said to the witnesses, Hechi Havimaisa, what exactly happened? Amru Lei, they said to him, Amra Hachi, she said the following when this whole transaction occurred, she said, Vaid Kamisa Hachitasa, woe, that this particular woman, woe that I am dying. So she said about herself that the reason why she's giving it, essentially, she indicated that she's giving it because of the fact that she she thought she was dying. So Amar Lu, so he said to them, Imkain, if that's the case, if she actually made such a statement, so she's really giving instructions because of the fact that she's going to die. And the halach is, if a person gives instructions because they're going to die, they can retract, and therefore, even in this situation, she is able to retract. And the Gemara continues, Itmar, it was stated, Matnas shchiv meirab mixas, let's say a person who's on his deathbed, he gives a gift, but he doesn't give all of his property, he's only giving part of the property. Amru Rabbonan kamei de Rava mishmei de Marzutra breider of Nachman. The Rabbonan in front of Rava said in the name of Marzutra breider of Nachman and Do'amar mishmei de Rav Nachman who said in the name of Rav Nachman as follows that such a gift, again this matna shchimei rabbi mixas, harehi kemat nasbori vaharehi kemat nas shchimei In some ways it's like a gift of a regular healthy person and in other ways it's like the gift of someone on, on his deathbed. As the Gemara explains, harei kemat nasbori, it's similar to the gift of a healthy person. Why? In what way? Shem Ahmad Eino Choser, that if the person does recover, he's not able to retract in this case. But on the other hand, it's also like a man ashchimera, the law boy Kenyan, that a Kenyan is not required. You don't need to have an actual physical Kenyan, just the words alone are going to be enough. And the Gemara continues, Amar Luhu Rava, Rava said to them, Lav Amina Luhu, haven't I said to you, Lotis Lu Buke Sriki Berav Nachman, don't hang empty pictures with Rav Nachman, meaning to say, don't quote Rav Nachman incorrectly. Hachi Amar Rav Nachman, because this is actually what Rav Nachman said, Harehi Kemat Nasbari, that it's completely like a Matnas Bari, it's completely like the gift of a healthy person, Uvoi Kenyan, and a Kenyan actually is required. And the Gemara continues, Eisvei Rava Rav Nachman, Rava asks, to Rav Nachman, the following question, the Mishnah said, Shayir Karka Kolshu, let's say he leaves off some land, meaning the Shchimera, when he gives away the property, he doesn't give all of his property. Matanoso Kayemis, so we say that the gift, it's considered to be fulfilled, meaning to say, 
he does not retract in such a situation, let's say he recovers. And so the Gemara says, my love is it not? The lokanumine isn't the case over here that he gave the property without an actual Kenyan. So you see that you don't need a Kenyan in such a situation. Again, Rav Nachman said before, according to, to Rav's version of Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said that it's totally like a matnas bari when it's a partial gift and a Kenyan is required. And here it seems to be that a Kenyan is not required. And the Gemara says, not necessarily, lo no the kanumine. It could be that the Mishnah means that there was a Kenyan made, and therefore it's no proof from the Mishnah. But the Gemara continues, if so, Ema Seva, look at the end of that Mishnah. It said, Lo Shire Karka Kalshu. It says, let's say he didn't leave off any land. Let's say he gave away all of his property. So then we say, Ein Matanaso Kayemis. We say that the gift is not considered a valid gift. Let's say he recovers. In that case, we say he's able to retract. But the Gemara says, Vi the Kanumine. Now, if an actual physical Kenyan was made, Amai Ein Matanaso Kayemis. Why do we say that the gift is not valid? There already we should say that the gift is valid. The Gemara says, not necessarily. Amar Lei said to him, Ochi Amar Shmuel, this is what Shmuel says, Shchimera, Shekosav, Kol Nechosav, Lacherem, if a Shchimera gives over all of his property, Afalpi, Shekanu Miyado, even if a Kenyan was made, Amar Choser, if he recovers, then we say that the gift is retracted because Biyadua, because it's clear, it's known, Shalohay Mitzav El Amachmas Misa, he was only giving it away because he thought he was going to die, and therefore the fact that there's a Kenyan does not change anything. And the Gemara continues, Eisver of Mesharshi, the Rava of Mesharshi asks Rava the following question, Maisa bi iman shal bnei Rochel, there was an incident with the mothers of the sons of Rochel, Shahaisa chol that she was sick, V'yomran she said, Tinasen kivinti leviti, give my brooch to my daughter, V'hu b'shnei maser mona, and it's worth 12 mona, V'meisen, then she died, V'kaimu devoreh, and they fulfilled her words, they said that the gift was effective, and in this case the assumption is it's just a partial gift, and there was no Kenyan, so you see that no Kenyan is necessary, and the Gemara says, Hasan over there, V'metzave mach mas misa, the case is that it's metzave mach mas misa, it was clear that she was giving this instruction because she she thought she was going to die and again in such a situation a Kenyan would not be needed. And the Gemara continues, Eisri Ravina Lerava, Ravina asks Rav the following question, the Mishnah Meseches Gitin says, If somebody says give this get to my wife or give this star shichor, this document that will set my slave free, give it to my slave Vamesan the person dies so lo yitinu la'achar misa, these cannot be given after the person dies, you can't give a get after the husband dies, you can't give a get after you can't give a star shikhar after the master dies. However, to new mona leploni vames, let's say the person says give a hundred dinar to so and so and then he dies, so yinu lachar misa, so that can be given even after his death. And the assumption over here is, again, that this is a partial gift and that there was no actual Kenyan made. And so the Gemara says, Now, how do we know that there was no actual Kenyan made in this Mishnah? Because Dumya de Get, because you can compare it to the first case of the Mishnah with the case of the Get. Ma Get Lav Bar Kenyan, just, by, just like by the Get, obviously there's no Kenyan because it's impossible for someone else to make a Kenyan on behalf of the wife if he was not appointed as a Shliach. It's not considered a Zechus for her to get it, to receive a Get. Therefore, we don't say Zachin La Adam Shalom. Of, so it's impossible to have had a physical Kenyan in that case. So av hai nami de lokanumine. So too, in the case of the Tanu Manalaploni, there is no Kenyan. And again, since there is no Kenyan, it seems to be a proof that by a partial gift, a Kenyan is not required. And the Gemara says, Hasam Nami, over there also we will give the same answer we just gave above by the case of the mother of the Bnei Rochel, that B'mitzavim Machmas Misa, we're talking about where it's clear that he was instructing, he was giving this instruction because he was going to die, and again, in that situation, a Kenyan is not needed. And the Gemara continues, Rav Huna B'raid Rav Yoshua, Amar Rav Huna, the son of Rav Yoshua, says, M'tzavim Machmas Misa, B'alma B'ay Kenyan, actually, when a person is giving an instruction, even if it's clear that he's giving that instruction because he thinks he's going to die, still a Kenyan is required. And so what's the answer for the proofs we just brought by the mother of the Bnei Rochel and the Mishnah from Masech HaSkitin? V'chitan Yohani Masnaisa, those proofs that we brought above, B'mechale Kol Nechasov. There we're talking where the person is not distributing only some of his property. We're talking about a situation where the person is distributing all of his property. Da'hi Ma'na Shchimera Shav, because that makes it a Ma'na Shchimera, and in that case a Kenyan is not needed. And the Gemara says, V'hilchasa, the halacha is, Matnas shchimera v'mixas, boy, Kenyan, if you have a matnas shchimera, that's a partial gift, a Kenyan is required, v'yafal gav demais, and even though the person dies, still we say that a Kenyan is required, without a Kenyan it will not be effective, and mitzavim machmas misa, low boy Kenyan, when it comes to somebody who's giving the, who's giving the instruction clearly, because
because he thinks he's going to die, then a Kenyan is not required. Vahu demes, but again, then the gift is only effective if he actually dies. But Ahmad, but if he require if he if he recovers, Choser, then we say the gift is retracted. Viafagav de Konumine. And even if a Kenyan was made, we still say that the gift is retracted if he recovers. And we will continue with this discussion in the next video. And Dafkofnun Bez Ahmad Aleph.